MEC Moloko, uh, Moloki Wale says the hearing will not be fair as both the chair of the disciplinary committee and some of its members are conflicted. Mahoro and four other members of the provincial legislature were charged after being accused of colluding with opposition parties during voting in the legislature earlier this year. To discuss, we're joined now by independent analyst uh, Theo Fenter. Uh, thank you for being with us, Mr. Fenter. At the time, we actually spoke on the show to the Premier of the Northwest. He said as far as he was aware, there was an ANC decision um, not to go to a secret ballot. It was a, a ballot about a chair of chairs. Um, uh, not, it's rather a secret ballot, not an open vote. That, that was a decision that he knew about. Is, is this still an issue about whether the, the ballot itself was meant to be secret or not? Yeah, I think the, the issue goes much further back. It goes back to the relationship of uh, Premier Mohoro and the IPC, which is the Interim Provincial Committee headed by Mr. Chauki. And there has been um, a lot of tension in the province, and I think it all culminated in this voting in the legislature. But there was, there's a lot of other issues um, in, in this province, and part of it is the inability of the leadership in the province, and when I say inability of the leadership, I mean in general, to sort out the um, the, the factions. And 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 you remember, uh, Premier Mokoro took over as an interim um, a leader in the province and premier when Supra Maya Mapelu was uh, ousted as premier. And ever since that happened. Um, there has been a difficulty in this province, and the province, of course, as we speak, is still under administration, section 100 of the constitution. And how these things must operate um, all the time, I think that creates a lot of decision-making issues, and it creates a lot of uh, paralysis in doing things. It was actually good to hear that we are doing quite well with the vaccinations and so on. That's, that's good news. But the political side is not necessarily the same way. Yeah. So, so you have a, you're saying you have a provincial uh, committee running uh, that, that province, but it's pitted against the premier, Job Mahoro, and, and this is all about factionalism. Absolutely. And there must still be uh, an election, a leadership election in this province to, to get things going. And there's also a lot of ambition and a lot of people that has their eye on the premiership or at least the leadership of the party in the province. Um, and, and all of those things um, in the same pot. And when you have, like with the legislature, uh, people must also remember, if you look at the numbers in the legislature, and if you take all the responsible people that has been put in positions, let's just talk about the ANC side of a legislature that of less than 30 people. You've got several MECs, you've got um, uh, committee chairs, you've got the, the speaker and all those appointments. There are not a lot of people left to fill those committee positions and those vacancies. So when you've got a small legislature, it's always a big issue who to get. And um, I think what, ha what happened in the legislature um, was, um, was, was, was something that I also think the Premier did what exactly was expected to get the best thing for the province, Net not necessarily for the ANC. And that is an issue that the party, the ANC in general, um, has to deal with at several levels. They have to deal with the issue of whether South Africa comes first, whether the party comes first, or the interest of the party. Yeah. We see the same issue with, uh, with the Zuma um, issue. We see the same issue in several other areas. And in this leaked document that Mr. Chauke leaked um, on the investigation into the Premier, you see the same issues cropping yeah. up all the time. So, so this is interesting. You, you're saying that he went for a secret ballot and uh, perhaps voted against his own party, uh, but for good reason and is now being yeah, punished. I, right? absol I absolutely think for good reason. Yeah. So, so just... Just tell us, uh, you, you say the history goes way back and, and there were a huge service delivery protests. Then Supra Mahoma Pelo finally uh, forced out. But a lot of people ask, and, and let's end with this, why is the Northwest so volatile all the time? 
We don't have a lot of time. I'll, I'll just say, if you look back 27 years, the formation of the Northwest Province was formed out of elements of the Northern Cape, elements of the old Northern Transvaal, elements of what is today Gauteng, and elements of what is now Northwest or, or Western Transvaal, and you add the old Poputa Tswana in that mix. It was a very difficult recipe to make it work, and all the premiers since 1994 had a difficulty getting this process going. So Northwest is, is really a province with a lot of potential but it is difficult for the province to gel in terms of how it was formed. All right. Uh, thank you uh, for, for that concise summary. That was analyst Theo Fenter.